Australia has announced a landmark $8 billion investment to modernize and expand the Henderson Shipyard near Perth, Western Australia, signaling a major shift in its defense posture and naval capabilities. This move, framed within the Trilateral AUKUS Security Pact with the United States and the United Kingdom, is intended to prepare the country for the deployment and sustainment of nuclear-powered submarines over the coming decade. Henderson, already undergoing preliminary upgrades worth $84 million last year, will transform into a state-of-the-art naval hub, combining submarine maintenance, shipbuilding, and advanced logistical support under one roof. The scale of this investment underscores Canberra's commitment to embedding itself more deeply within allied deterrence architectures and reshaping its long-term strategic positioning in the Indo-Pacific. The Henderson Project forms the backbone of Australia's participation in the AUKUS Agreement, which envisages the country acquiring several U.S. Virginia-class attack submarines before co-developing the next-generation AUKUS-class submarines with Britain. Beyond nuclear submarines, the shipyard will also produce landing craft for the Australian Army and general-purpose frigates for the Navy, expanding Australia's domestic shipbuilding capabilities and potentially creating up to 10,000 jobs. For Australia, this investment is transformative. Historically, the country has lacked the infrastructure to host and maintain nuclear-powered vessels, relying instead on conventional submarine fleets and allied support. Henderson's expansion, with its high-security dry docks and comprehensive sustainment facilities, places Australia on par with leading naval powers, providing a forward operating base capable of servicing allied vessels while sustaining its own fleet. The strategic significance of Henderson extends far beyond industrial modernization. The facility will become a central hub for allied operations, hosting rotations of US and UK submarines starting in 2027. This operational integration ensures interoperability among allied fleets and enhances Australia's deterrence posture in a region increasingly defined by strategic competition with China. Unlike other conventional submarine bases in Southeast Asia, Henderson's upgraded infrastructure allows for the secure deployment, maintenance, and sustainment of nuclear-powered submarines, creating a capability that was previously unattainable. The facility will also function as a critical geostrategic anchor for the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command, providing both logistical support and forward deployment options, similar in significance to locations like Guam or Diego Garcia. From an industrial perspective, the Henderson investment illustrates the broader dimensions of AUKUS. While often framed in military terms, the PAC's success relies equally on shipbuilding capacity, skilled labor, and sustained political support across all three nations. Australia's decision to anchor billions into domestic infrastructure is both a strategic hedge and a signal to its allies that it is prepared to shoulder its share of the operational and logistical burden. The project highlights a modern understanding of deterrence, where acquiring platforms is only one component, Sustaining and operating them over decades requires an industrial ecosystem capable of supporting long-term naval ambitions. By investing heavily in Henderson, Australia ensures that it retains autonomy in fleet sustainment, reinforcing the credibility of its nuclear submarine program and strengthening its standing among allies. The scale of Henderson's modernization also has profound implications for regional power dynamics. By the 2030s, the introduction of nuclear-powered submarines will grant Australia a stealthy, long-range strike capability capable of countering Chinese naval expansion in the South China Sea and beyond. Nuclear propulsion allows submarines to remain submerged for extended periods, operate across vast distances, and respond quickly to emerging threats, providing a strategic edge over conventional fleets. The presence of these submarines will enhance Australia's ability to project power, protect maritime trade routes, and contribute meaningfully to allied operations in the Indo-Pacific. For Canberra, this represents a crucial opportunity to assert strategic influence, strengthen regional security, and deter potential adversaries through credible, technologically advanced maritime capabilities.
Beyond military considerations, the Henderson Project demonstrates a clear political dimension. Large-scale investments in domestic infrastructure require long-term bipartisan support, skilled labor, and stable industrial policies. By embedding such capabilities within Australia, the government is not only reinforcing its naval ambitions but also fostering economic growth, workforce development, and technological innovation. The creation of thousands of high-skilled jobs across shipbuilding, engineering, and defense maintenance sectors further emphasizes the dual-use benefits of the investment, linking national security priorities with economic resilience. Additionally, the project signals to allies and adversaries alike that Australia is committed to maintaining a robust, independent defense posture capable of contributing meaningfully to collective security frameworks. The geopolitical ramifications of Henderson extend across the broader Indo-Pacific region. The establishment of a nuclear submarine hub enhances Australia's credibility as a strategic partner, while also reassuring allies that regional deterrence mechanisms are evolving in response to emerging challenges. The facility's capabilities enable sustained operations of Allied fleets, increasing the operational depth available to the US and UK navies and improving the region's overall security architecture. By integrating its industrial capacity with strategic military objectives, Australia strengthens the AUKUS partnership and creates a tangible deterrent against potential aggression. The decision to invest heavily in Henderson also signals that Canberra is preparing for long-term strategic competition, particularly with China, while ensuring that it retains autonomy and flexibility in maintaining and deploying its naval forces. Historically, the development mirrors strategic decisions taken by other leading naval powers. Britain's Cold War-era establishment of domestic nuclear submarine infrastructure fundamentally altered its maritime defense posture, enabling long-term sustainment and independent operational capability. Henderson represents a similar turning point for Australia, providing a foundation for a credible, technologically advanced nuclear fleet capable of operating independently and alongside allies. By focusing on both operational and industrial readiness, Canberra is preparing for the full spectrum of challenges in the Indo-Pacific, from conventional maritime threats to emerging strategic competition. In practical terms, Henderson's transformation encompasses the construction of specialized dry docks, maintenance centers, and secure operational zones capable of accommodating nuclear-powered vessels. The project ensures that Australia can carry out comprehensive repairs, refueling, and upgrades domestically, reducing dependence on external partners while increasing the strategic flexibility of the fleet. By simultaneously producing new vessels and maintaining existing ones, Henderson consolidates multiple capabilities within a single hub, optimizing efficiency and reinforcing Australia's role as a regional security anchor. The Henderson investment also highlights the broader trend in defense planning, where deterrence is increasingly tied to industrial and technological ecosystems rather than mere acquisition of platforms. Modern naval power requires the ability to sustain advanced systems over decades, with highly trained personnel, advanced logistics, and domestic industrial support. By embedding these capabilities within Henderson, Australia demonstrates a sophisticated understanding of modern strategic imperatives, ensuring that its nuclear submarine program is not only operationally credible but also sustainable in the long term. In conclusion, Australia's $8 billion commitment to the Henderson shipyard represents a strategic turning point in the nation's naval history. By creating a nuclear submarine hub capable of hosting, maintaining, and producing advanced vessels, Canberra strengthens its role in the AUKUS alliance, enhances regional deterrence, and positions itself as a key player in Indo-Pacific security. The facility's dual function, supporting both allied and domestic operations, ensures operational depth, technological innovation, and workforce development while preparing Australia for long-term strategic competition. Henderson's transformation cements its status as a cornerstone of Australian naval strategy, providing the infrastructure, 
expertise, and credibility required to navigate an increasingly complex and contested regional security environment.